Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're gonna to be installing a new plate heat exchanger for our outdoor wood boiler so we can use it to heat our hot water. We have a new water heater uh, to install here and so I've moved some things around in our utility area and I took the old plate heat exchanger out that was leaking and uh, we have a new one to put in. Well, let's get this thing installed and then I will give you a detailed run through of how it all works. So here we have the final installation of the hot water heat exchanger. So we have our hot water that comes in from the wood boiler first, going to the bottom of one side of the, the plate heat exchanger. That hot water cycles through and then out the top, which then goes up and all the way over to our furnace, cycles through the furnace, comes back through this and then goes back out to get reheated again. So we have our hot water that comes in to the bottom of this. And then we have our cold water, uh, domestic water, that's gonna come in. And the cold water will pass through here and get heated and enter the, uh, the actual hot water tank. Now, I made a mistake here when I was uh, in a rush. It was getting very late. <laughs> and I was trying to reuse parts here and I ended up putting the valve on the bottom side of the union, which was uh, not really functional. Uh, I wanted this flipped and uh, I just ended up not paying attention to it and so there it is. So now you can't really, what it, my hope was is that if I ever needed to replace this I could just shut the valve off at the top and then break the union there and break the union there and then take this out and put a new one in. So when you design yours and when you install yours put the union on the other side of the valve. That will be smart. I would recommend putting these unions in though so that you can remove this easily and you don't have to re-solder everything uh, when you do that. It doesn't matter the orientation of this. I faced mine uh, this way just because I had a straight shot 
coming from uh, where you know how this was. Uh, this is called Pex L Pex. It's a different material. It's super hard to bend. It's got a metal shielding in it. It's it's pretty stiff, and so I didn't want to have to you know come in and loop around and have this this giant loop in the front of everything. So that's why I oriented this this way. So with the flow of the cold water coming down, and then the hot water on the other side going up, you want them to go the opposite directions. So I've been told you know it's coming in at 55 degrees. When I put a thermometer on here, it was coming out at 150 or hotter, and so it's real hot. And you're so you're pre -fill, you're filling this this hot water tank with with heated water, uh, it, and it and it heats it instantly, and it heats it on demand, and it and it doesn't run out. So as long as your wood boiler uh, keeps up the temperature, you can run as much water through this thing as you want to. In fact, you don't even need the hot water tank in the winter time. Potentially, you know, you could probably just loop loop this thing right you know have a bypass or something and, and it would just literally uh you know heat the water as it's needed but this does provide the buffer i do don't recommend doing that i recommend doing it the way that we have it here it fills the hot water tank keeps you with a nice supply of hot water um, and you'll never run out of hot water with this thing it's uh, it's amazing this uh, hot water plate heat exchanger was purchased on amazon there are a few different brands that i see out there they all seem to get pretty good reviews they seem to be pretty high quality and I can't really complain. And so one of the questions I often get asked is how big of a plate heat exchanger do you need to heat hot water? Well, I had a, a uh, actually a little bit bigger one in here before. I went down a little bit in size. This is a 30 plate and it says it has 8.7 square feet of plate surface area. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this product. It has certainly been plenty uh, sufficient for our needs here. We have a family of five in this house. So even with uh, two people taking a shower at the same time and our dishwasher running and people using sinks and other things for hot water, we have never had an issue with, uh, with running out of hot water. It doesn't even, doesn't even touch this thing. So the 30 plate heat exchanger seems to be sufficient. I don't think you need to go much any bigger than that. In fact, you probably could go down to a 20 plate uh, from what I understand, but just to be safe, the price difference I think was like $20 or $25 between the two, and so I just bumped it up to get a little bit better uh, better heat exchange. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, installing one of these is not too difficult. Most times you're gonna have uh, a, a lot of space in your uh, in your you know line feeding into your hot water tank if you have a, a situation where you at least have a basement, uh, and you're gonna be able to just cut that out and pop the heat exchanger in there and then run your, your uh, lines to your boiler. So hopefully this helps somebody out who's looking to either add one to their current system or installing a new system when it comes time for that. And so hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, checking this out. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any comments or suggestions for those of you out who have dealt with these before, I'd love to hear from you as well, share your knowledge and wisdom. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thank you.